We know that exercising, being physically active, eating well and not smoking all help with good aging. But it is equally important to participate in rewarding activities. As people age, they often find themselves spending more and more time at home alone. Such isolation can lead to depression, which has direct effects on physical health. So, if we spend too much time alone, it may be time to sign up for some volunteer work or participate in some social activities. But before we give ideas, which is the central motif of this video, let's review the benefits of an active lifestyle. Research tells us that older people with an active lifestyle they are less likely to develop certain diseases, participating in hobbies and social activities can reduce the risk of developing some health problems, including dementia. They have a longer and fuller life. It has been seen in some studies that those who participate in social activities such as playing, belonging to a club, or traveling, or in productive and meaningful activities, such as having a job, paid or unpaid, or gardening, live longer than those who did not participate in any of the above. They are happier and less depressed, as seen in a study in which older volunteers taught in public elementary schools. The cognitive and physical health of the volunteers improved, while the children's academic performance improved. It is also believed to reduce the risk of developing disabilities, dependence and dementia. They're better prepared to deal with the loss. Volunteering helps to manage the stress and depression of grieving for a loved one. They can improve cognitive abilities, improvements in memory, comprehension, creativity and problem-solving have been seen after participating in courses of only eight sessions. Well, as we can see, there is more and more scientific evidence of something that is otherwise intuitive and logical, isn't it? And now, yes, let's get down to the ideas of staying active as adults. We can do up to four groups of activities here. The first one, of course, going out. You can go to a senior center and participate in its events and activities, such as playing cards or petting with friends. Or go to the theater, the cinema, sports events, museums, temporary exhibitions. Also travel with friends or family, visit them, visit new restaurants, join a group to share a hobby, such as knitting, walking, fishing, bird watching or wood carving. How about recovering old contacts through alumni associations? Another group of activities are those related to learning something new. You can attend cooking, art, dance, language or computer classes. More and more frequent are programs oriented to older people. And if not, you can choose to form or join a book or movie club, try yoga, tai chi, or other group physical activity. Or how about trying out or taking up a musical instrument? The next group has to do with being more active in the community. You can get involved in donating clothes or food to people in need, or caring for dogs and cats in animal shelters, running errands for people with disabilities, joining a committee to improve community life, Getting more involved in particular faith activities, volunteering at a school, library, museum or hospital, to help with gardening in common areas, or to decorate the streets for a local celebration, to join a choir, to play in a municipal band, to participate in plays, to get a part-time job, or even to recover some old hobby, even to teach it to new generations. 
The last group is the one referred to being physically active. This includes everything from physical exercise involving gardening to playing with your grandchildren, teaching them some ancient game or dance. But of course, it also includes attending or receiving gym classes, going dancing, joining a hiking, swimming or paydang club, or, why not, riding a bike with a friend or neighbor. Having said all this, and before saying goodbye, I would like to stress that each person has his or her own limits, both in terms of physical condition and health, and in terms of time available. As we always advocate, it is best to take prudent steps, adding one or two activities to see how one feels. There is always time to add something else. If we see that our body is asking for it, and we are not sacrificing something else important, we can go ahead. Remember that, above all, participating in activities should be fun, and not a stressful burden. Do you understand? I hope so. And so far, I hope I have given some useful and interesting ideas, or at least inspired some. In any case, thank you very much, and until the next video.